Hey guys, so much requested. How do I get my Figma designs into Klaviyo? So I'm gonna walk you through a couple different ways to do it, okay? But these are the go-to steps that I do when I'm ready to slice up my design and put it into Klaviyo. It's pretty darn easy, okay? So I have here an email for uh, one of my clients, 730. And this email <clears throat> is really outlined into a few different pieces. So when you are building your design, you want to think, how am I going to hyperlink every single section? Very important, right? So this one has different blocks. You can almost visualize where your links would go. You want to make sure that that's set up correctly, okay? So first, I'm going to basically assemble and pull in bite-sized pieces of my design. So the best way to do this is I'm clicking my entire frame. So this is my email here. Actually, let me rename this email one. And I'm going to come up here in the top left and do a slice. And I'm going to grab into the corner and pull in my first slice here. The main thing you want to make sure over here, 600 pixel width. Your email design should have been 600 pixel width to start with. We're making sure it's 600 because if not, and you go a little bit over, you're going to export this and there's going to be like a giant uh, little gray line or whatever your background color is. So make sure it's exactly fitting in the way we want it. Okay. So one thing is that I could technically export this entire thing. Why I don't want to do that is because potentially if someone loads in this image based email, and that entire top section is one large image, it may take a while to load in. So when you break it into some bite-sized pieces, honestly, you could even like do a bite size here and then a bite size here and a bite size there. It lets everything kind of load in a bit more easily than if you did one giant piece. But I think doing two pieces will be just fine. So I'm picturing this is my first slice. I'm clicking my slice over here. I'm control Z, control V and duplicating it just so I can easily slide it down. And then I'm making sure my slices match up exactly. Cause if not, it's going to look like there was like a jump in your design and it was not going to look too right. And then we're going to drop it there. So we have our first two pieces. Okay. So I'm going back I'm clicking my first piece and over here on the right, you'll see export. I like to export these at 2x. Why the clarity of it is just a tad more crisper. The text looks a bit better. So I think exporting at 2x is the way to go. You can click preview here and see what it looks like. Looks great. And let's grab my other slice, export it. We'll do it at 2x. And then let's head over into my Klaviyo again. So I have my kind of default template here. I'm going to drop in my first block and I mean, y'all, it's as easy as that. I'm going to drop in my first one, copy, replace, and then drop in my second one. From here, you want to make sure, and this is the biggest to do about a very image heavy email is you want to make sure your alt text is good. And I don't mean a lot of people think alt text just means like this here, brief description of your image. I don't think that that's not what you want to do. You want to actually have the text that's in your message appearing in your alt text. So I'm going to say embrace your face period, you know, your journey to healthy glowing skin is here. I could even put in that section, second section, but this is fine here. Definitely want to make sure our uh, link is in place. I don't have my link handy. Well, I guess I can grab it from right here. We'll just say that it's going to go to the main front page. And then we have our second one here. Honestly, this is where I would put my second section of text. Explore our top rated skincare essentials. Something a bit like that, right? So that way, if it loads in, they can read the text. They can see it. It also gives your inboxes, Gmail, Yahoo, something to read. When this comes in, they are scanning your entire HTML and that is what will appear. This alt text will appear and they'll be able to kind of read it and understand, Hey, they're not trying to like sell a scam here. They're trying to actually deliver up some good value, um, or actually be a legit brand. That's the main thing. So back in Figma, we're going to grab that second one, control C, control V. Whoops. Let me make sure I grab my slice. Hey, Hey slice. I'm accidentally grabbing the wrong thing. Hold on. Oops. And he, there we go. I'm going to slide this down where it ends. 
ends and we'll slide it right here. So this may happen. I don't know why sometimes this happens. Actually, I do know why. It's because I haven't set an actual color to my background, which is just me because I, I put this piece into its own frame for some reason. I don't know why I did that. That was on accident. <laughs> sometimes that happens, which I will say you could also export the frame. So that's another reason you could do it. If you want this to be super, super clear and you think the clarity is dropping, you could come over here, do a frame and pop it into a frame, which I already did because I think that's probably what I did with this one is I had it in a frame because I wanted the export to be super high quality. So if I go over to preview, I can see the piece there. I'm actually going to turn it into a JPEG so that it has a actual background and then we'll export that frame. So back in here, I'm just going to duplicate this one, replace, upload, and pop that in. And then this is where we can go ahead and put in again that alt text, so important, put in that exact product link. And that is it, y'all. That is exactly how I export my designs into Klaviyo. There's another way you can do this. Like say your email is really short. Let me see if I have a short one that I could show. Uh, probably not a super short one. But if this was a short one, you could come up to the actual frame of the entire email. If you see over here, I could export it as one giant email. Let's see if it'll let me, because sometimes the file size is too large. But let's give it a test. For SNGs, let's give it a test. So we're gonna drop this in, it's too big. Okay, fine. But if, let's say that it wasn't too big. You'll have the entire email and then you can just come in and crop it. So crop it to the section that you want. Boop, 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 and you're good to go. So that's another way to do it as well. If you're if you're not too sure, you're not, the slicing's not coming out right, you can do it that way. But again, be careful of your file size. You don't want it to be too large. And then, of course, you want to make sure you test your mobile view. What is it looking like? Is it legible? That's a huge part of an image-based email. If this is not legible, I would redesign this section, one for desktop, and one for mobile to make sure that it is super, super readable on my phone. So from here, I can tell it's already gonna be pretty darn legible, but I would shoot myself a test to my own inbox just to triple check. All right guys, that is just a quick tutorial how to export your Figma designs into Klaviyo. <laughs> super quick one, but definitely something that I get requested a lot of like, okay, I made the design, what do I do next? That's exactly what you do. Uh, make sure to check out uh, other Figma design tutorials if you can learn to design some emails just like this. And if you wanna book a call with me and have me help with your email marketing, feel free to go check out sparkbridgedigital.com. All right, guys, I will catch you. Oh my God, I can't talk in the next tutorial. All right, bye.